So this video is gonna be a little bit more geared towards wedding photography and Fujifilm cameras. About four years ago, in like September 2020, I was scrolling through YouTube, looking up like documentary photography. It was like the first time I really heard about that niche style of like documentary or reportage photography. And I came across a legendary Fujifilm photographer named Kevin Mullins. And I saw that he photographs weddings in such a, an interesting way, candid, just beautiful images with Fujifilm cameras. And one of the ones that he kept sharing this was this X100F. So in September of 2020, I used a credit card, bought one of those cameras, and uh, yeah, it really changed the course of my life. When I was in college, I started a Instagram account called Stone Visuals where um, it was inspired, ironically, by a hashtag called Fuji Frames that uh, a filmmaker that I really admire named Ryan Booth created. And um, I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm sure he was using a Fujifilm camera at the time, but the hashtag and all the photos accompanying it had such a distinct style to them. So I started with my phone, just documenting life with my friends. And I always wanted a Fujifilm camera. You know, I never really knew at, at that time in college when you have no money, you never really know what's possible. So then when I started working and had a little bit of income and knew that I could handle maybe like $200 monthly payments, I bought a camera. And yeah, uh, not even a year later, my wife and I, who was at that time my girlfriend, we went all in. Now at weddings, I use an X-Pro3 on one side, an X-T4 on the other. The X-Pro3 has still the uh, the older 56 1.2. The um, on my, my X-T4 will have a 16 1.4. Then I carry around my neck a X-100V, which is just great for, for capturing just some of the candid moments. Um, she has an X-T4 with a 51.0 on one side and an X-T3 with an, uh, the 18 1.4 on the other. And yeah, over the last three years, we've probably photographed somewhere between maybe like 50 to 80 weddings in the last three years. Next year, we've already got 20 booked. You know, when I first started learning about photography and learning about wedding photography specifically, and you know, sometimes you go to weddings and you see the style that photographers have, I saw a lot of the posing, a lot of the portraits, a lot of the more like staged, having a lot of the wedding moments before the photos. And I really didn't like that. Um, you know, it's like huge cameras. It'll be like a long time staging and it, it's not necessarily what I love about weddings. You know, what I love so much about weddings is how crazy it can be, how all of your friends and family come together and uh, celebrate your love. and. Uh, there's so many interesting moments that happen like there's it's one of the rare times in your life where everyone's going to be there at the same time you know specifically celebrating you and there's a lot of moments that happen in between the posed portrait session or the cutting of the cake or the first kiss that are moments that'll never happen again the first time you hug your parents after you're now married or the first time you you know your friends celebrate with you or um, you know, when everyone's out on the dance floor, it's like things where, you know, maybe the lighting isn't perfect or the, the composition or everything's not perfect, but the moment is. And when I watched Kevin Mullen's videos about Fujifilm cameras, you know, he specifically talked about how they were smaller and how they blended in and had like a unique look and it helped almost make him look like a guest at the weddings. And he was able to capture these moments in such a candid way that uh, was unlike anything I had seen before and now ever since you know I dove into wedding photography we've used these cameras in all different types of lighting I've tested out situations where there's little to no lighting we've used uh, on-camera flash off-camera flash we've bumped the ISO up to 12,800 and gotten images that I love and a lot of this is stuff that I learned from watching Kevin Mullins videos on YouTube or other photographers that talk about these cameras. You know, like I said, like we use right now the X-Pro3, the X-T4 and uh, an X-T3. But when I first started getting into this, the X-Pro2 was used, the X-T2, now there's an X-T5, the X-100 series, even though it doesn't have dual card slots, I still use those at weddings because you can blend in so well. And another big thing that helps is an R5, a Canon R5 or an R6 is like 2800 to 3500 just for the body where an X-T4 
RNX Pro 3 is like 1800 or less and the lenses are the same. They don't carry the same weight. It's not these giant things hanging off your shoulders or that you're, you're getting tired carrying around all day. They're these slick, small, beautiful cameras that blend in really well and um, that are lightweight and really fun to use. And some of the cameras take a different battery. Uh, the newer battery lasts really long. We'll go through like two or three in a wedding day. Whereas the older cameras like the X-T3, the X-Pro3 um, take, and the X100 series take the older battery. And we'll, we'll go through some of those. But overall, the system is really incredible, relatively inexpensive. We've printed photos and enlarge them, we've put them in books, we've never had a problem. Also, we've shot wedding films with them, we've done YouTube videos with them, I've made a short film with the X-H2S. It's just a wonderful system that has reignited my love and passion for photography and has really made me nerd out on cameras. And so when I started to make more videos as well, I started using the Fujifilm cameras, the Fuji X-T4 and then not even a year ago, we bought the Fuji X-H2S to use on like video production and short films and, and documentaries. And that's what I'm using to record this right now. But really, I just wanted to show some images that we've taken in low light scenarios with certain lenses, just to show that just because the cameras are APS-C instead of full frame, you know, it doesn't mean that you can't be a professional or take amazing photos with these cameras and be a full-time wedding photographer, which is what Senya and I are now. And uh, it's crazy that, you know, it's still a huge investment. Like I think overall, we, we probably spent between 10 to $15,000 on this Fujifilm equipment, but that's any business, you know, you're gonna try to go in and, you know, you've got to, you know, invest in yourself and invest in your business in order to make it work. And yeah, I really wanted to make this video just to show my appreciation for these cameras and show other people that, you know, if this is something that you wanted to get into, because it's hard to support yourself as a creative these days, as a photographer, or a filmmaker, and weddings is a meaningful route to take to document the incredibly important images of people's lives that only it only happens once hopefully um doesn't matter if it happens twice that's fine but uh but yeah these moments don't happen often and yeah i'm just really thinking now it's been three years that we've been photographing weddings and I'm really proud of how far we've come and i'm just very thankful for the decision we made four years ago to buy a fujifilm camera i think that their cameras we're gonna have for the rest of our lives and and i really hope yeah one day they make a cinema camera i mean the x-h2s is amazing but i'd uh love to see another so yeah i hope to make more videos about fujifilm cameras and specifically like the lenses and certain situations but in this video yeah this is just something to start and uh we'll hopefully make more from here so thanks see you next time